Welcome! This video will provide a 7 minute demonstration on how to set up your next generation Digital Display Proportional Driver, or DDPDX. This driver simplifies setup and monitoring of any open loop proportional valve. No special tools or software are required. This unit works with all coils up to 3 amps. Every driver accepts various input command types. It is suitable for extreme negative 40 degrees Celsius to plus 75 degrees Celsius conditions. Custom drivers are available upon request. The DDPDX is available in a number of forms that include direct coil mount with PG9 or DIN cable connections, DIN rail mount for single and dual versions, NEMA for enclosures, also for single and dual versions. If you require other configurations, please contact your provider. The following setup procedure is performed in a lab setting and is intended for demonstration purposes only. Every application will differ. It is impossible to duplicate all exceptions. When performing any actual setup, it is important to take all precautions necessary to avoid injury or damage of any sort. The driver is a menu-driven device where parameters can be changed by turning the blue select and adjust encoders. This demonstration setup includes pressure gauge to observe system pressure, command input to control the digital display proportional valve driver, single digital display proportional valve driver, LEPPX model. For installation data and wiring schematics, please refer to our website at www lynch.ca slash products slash ddpd. All adjustments can be made by turning the two encoders. By rotating select, the driver parameter options are displayed sequentially, and each parameter can be changed by rotating adjust. To begin, rotate the select encoder and choose in to select your input. Rotate the adjust encoder to choose your desired command input. Three types of inputs can be chosen, 4 to 20 milliamps, 0 to 10 volts, and 0 to 5 volts. For this demonstration, we have chosen 0 to 5 volts input. We will now proceed to save our input selection. Save your input selection by rotating the select encoder to SA. In order to complete your save, the adjust encoder must be rotated clockwise past 1. A three digit number with a flashing decimal point will appear. Please note, saves can be made at any point throughout the setup procedure to record the setting to the driver's rewritable memory. The driver will automatically save after 100 seconds once the last adjustment has been made. Increase your command signal to 100% to observe the valve's maximum pressure. Please note, increasing your command signal to 100% may result in full pressure or flow. Do not proceed if this will result in unsafe operating conditions. To establish a maximum pressure setting, begin by selecting High. Maximum pressure is set by adjusting the high current setting between 0.20 to 3.0 amps. The default high setting is 1 amp. Adjust high as follows. Decrease setting until a change in pressure is observed. Once a change in pressure is observed, adjust the setting to obtain the maximum desired pressure. For this demonstration, we have set the maximum pressure output to 2000 psi, as per this valve manufacturer's recommendations by setting high to 0.46 amps. Observe all safety precautions specific to your application. We will now proceed to adjust our minimum pressure setting. In order to set this parameter, decrease your command signal to 0%. To establish a minimum pressure setting, begin by selecting Low. Minimum pressure is set by adjusting the low current setting between 0 to 2.99 amps. Adjust Low as follows. Increase setting until a change in pressure is observed. Once a change in pressure is observed, adjust the setting to obtain the minimum desired pressure. 
For this demonstration, we have set the minimum pressure output to 500 psi, as per this valve manufacturer's recommendations, by setting low to 0.14 amps. Save your pressure setting by rotating the select encoder to SA. In order to save your input selection, the adjust encoder must be rotated clockwise past 1. A three-digit number with a flashing decimal point will appear. Verify high and low settings by increasing, then decreasing, your command signal from 0% to 100%. We will now establish a time value for ramp up and ramp down. Before proceeding, decrease your command signal to 0%. It is important to note that ramp up and ramp down settings are independent of each other, and therefore can have different values ranging from 0 to 99.5 seconds. To establish the ramp up setting, begin by selecting R up. Rotate the adjust encoder to set the amount of time for the output to change from low to high. For this demonstration, we have chosen 2.5 seconds. To establish the ramp down setting, begin by selecting RDN. Rotate the adjust encoder to set the amount of time for the output to change from high to low. For this demonstration, we have chosen 5 seconds. Save your setting by rotating the select encoder to SA. In order to save your selection, the adjust encoder must be rotated clockwise past 1. A 3 digit number with a flashing decimal point will appear. Verify ramp up and ramp down settings by increasing and then decreasing your command signal from 0% to 100%. Dither is a small vibration introduced to the valve that can help with improving linearity and reduce stiction-induced hysteresis. Select DFR for dither frequency. Adjust your dither frequency between 40 and 450 Hz. We recommend setting the dither frequency as per the valve manufacturer's specifications. The recommended dither frequency for the valve used in this demonstration is 140 Hz. Save your settings by rotating the select encoder to SA. In order to save your selection, the adjust encoder must be rotated clockwise past 1. A three digit number with a flashing decimal point will appear. Your setup is complete. For more information, please visit www.lynch.ca or contact Lynch Fluid Controls Headquarters at 1-905-363-2400.